Alright, welcome back to a new video. We're going to be carrying on from last episode for the Blender tutorial. Also, Blender and part 1 of the tutorial are in the description if you want to check them out. Alright, so I just joined Blender and the first thing you're going to do is delete the chimney and create a new one. Um, so shift A to add a cube, meshed in cube. Uh, we can scale the top face down. So just click face up here, then click this, then the move tool over here, then bring this down. Now E to extrude, let's scale it up. Uh, Control R to add a loop cut, bring it over there. It's also A to select all your faces. Then let's go ahead, select these edges over here, just all around your object. So them, them, and them. Then Control B to bevel them, like that. Now add a subdivision modifier, and then insert a face at the bottom. So I to insert. Then insert face at the top, once again I to insert. Then let's make the levels viewport around 3 or 2. Now let's go ahead insert E to extrude, then scale that up. Then E to extrude again. Let's click this these faces, I to insert. Click the top face, I to insert. This time we'll bring it down. E to extrude inwards. S to scale, we can insert that again, just like that, and there we go. We can go, we can actually let's scale these up first, around about there. Let's select these edges, we can bring these in more, just like that. And let's go ahead or outwards, bring these ones in a bit more, I guess. Going to proportional editing over here, just do this, scroll that inwards a bit. Then let's go ahead, attach, we'll do shade smooth and attach this to the mushroom house thing rotate it and there we go let's go ahead rotate it in that way a bit bring that down then apply the modifier go ahead select your mushroom then click join now we change the chimney we can go on to texturing Right, so we're gonna start texturing and for that we need a texture. So I'm gonna make the texture and I'll link it in the description for you all to use in case you haven't got Photoshop. You can make your own texture if you want and follow along, but um, I'm just gonna make one real quick and we'll start the texturing in a minute. Right, so now we're gonna start texturing. Click your roof, then go to materials, then click, if you have any current ones, click minus, then click the plus to add a new material, then click new, then go to base color, click the yellow circle, then go to image texture, open the image by clicking open, then open image I linked in the description. Now it should have loaded, if it hasn't loaded, click the material shading up here, then go to UV editing, zoom out of this a bit, then select all your faces by clicking A, scale them down, then drag the faces on here anywhere on your texture. So for example, I'll just do mine in the corner here. Now let's start making the circles. Select some faces. So for example, just select some like this. Then click U, then click unwrap. Scale that down. Bring it over to the white circle. Scale it up a bit. And there we go. That's how we add a circle. So let's go ahead, add a few. Once again, select the faces. U to unwrap. Scale that down. Drag it over here. Scale it up a bit, and there you go. And there you go, that's how you do the roof. Just go back to layout over here. And we will start on the main building, so this bit here. We're going to create a new texture real quick, and then we're going to add it and do the same. Right, so click the bottom of your object now, then go to material, new, then back to image texture open and open the other one linked in the description as well all right now go to uv editing a to select all a here as well scale that down now let's add the material to the chimney as well so back to layout click the chimney the new image texture open and open the same same texture i'll go to uv editing a to select all a here as well to select all, scale that down, then drag it to one of the greys. So I'm going to do that one, 
and do the same for most of these. So for this one, we're gonna go new image texture, open, and let's just do the the same texture, but this time it will be ground. UV editing, A to select all, A here, scale that down, and drag it over there. It can be any one of these. I might do that one. Or that one. Nah, no, this one. Okay, now let's. Right, now let's do the door. Select the door. New base color. Image texture. Open the image. UV editing. A to select door. Let's drag this to probably brown. Yep. Then the same for these as well. Let's just join them. Then new base color image texture open yep this one uv editing a to select all a scale down then we just add some minor details for this just make this gray or something yep there we go Right, that should conclude part two. We went over the basics to texturing in Blender. In part three, we're gonna do more modeling, maybe a bit of sculpting. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.